very recently you were in Miami uh, yeah. for Izzy versus Pereira. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I just would love to kind of get your perspective. Why were you in town? Were you in this camp? Were you just there to have a good time and show support? Why were you in town yeah. for that one? So um, after my fights, anytime I'm in the in the states, yeah, if you remember, I always go. go I got family over there in, in Miami, so I always go to see them. And I haven't seen my um, my nephews and my niece over there in a little while. It's probably about two years. Obviously, I speak to them regularly, and we see them and on Zoom calls and so on and so forth. And my siblings have travelled a couple of times, or we've had to travel a couple of times. So I've seen them, but I haven't seen the kids. Um, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay out there for a little while so after this next one because you know I've had back to back fights. Let me go over to the states and just stay with them for a little while. To be fair, I'm not even considering uh, there's gonna be a fight in Miami. Um, and then uh, when I realized I'm actually gonna be the sa- there at the same time, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm missing. Oh, there's no way I'm missing. We connected, uh, uh, I think last year, maybe a year before. And it's one of those things where you never know how you're going like to, we, 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 at the time we were managed by the same person and you never know, you know, you hear everyone says, oh yeah, you guys would get along if you meet, but you never know until you actually meet that person. But the second we met, it was just like, it was just connections, <laughs> bro, man, straight away. Um, and yeah, so we've obviously stepped, uh, kept, uh, stayed in touch. I speak to his, his brothers and stuff as well. Um, so then when I heard I was going to be there, I thought like, it would be a great reunion. To just go and see them guys anyway. Yeah. But then obviously to go and witness that fight. And I'm glad I did because it was just an epic night. It really was an epic night. What are one of the greatest nights in recent memory? And is and can you just kind of speak to you obviously know Izzy to a certain level now? Like, mm-hmm. but also you're a fighter when you have taken three L's to the mm-hmm. same guy and you have to mentally, psychologically get ready to finally get a W and he finally yeah. does it and he does it in yeah. the most spectacular fashion. The finish, the celebration, the speech. Mm-hmm. You know, as someone that's now, you know, getting close to him as a friend, like, what was it like for you to experience that? Oh no! It was unbelievable. I, I lost my I lost my voice just uh, being out there shouting. I mean, nearly fell over everybody like just cheering <laughs> in that moment. Um, it was unbelievable. Even, even in the build up, seeing them, you know, a few times, just uh, you know, in the, a few days before the fight, and you could just see us in the zone. But also, I like to because we're very similar. I like to relate how I would have been, how I would have taken you know, how, where I would be mentally. And I was saying to people, I was like, because, you know, people were asking me, like, you know, what do you think? I was like, putting myself in that scenario and knowing that we're very similar, I feel like he's going to be very dangerous. And it's because when you've, when someone's got that kind of mental strain on you, on the build-up, you know, even the UFC was pumping a lot, this, oh yeah, this is the guy that's beating him, this is the guy that's beating him. Sometimes these things can seep into your mind. And then when it actually happened, it's like, ah, man, like, it, it, I think it was more, it just got to him. It just got to him there. But now that you've lost it, you have nothing to lose anymore. The damage has been done. So going back in now, it's like, it. if he beats me again, then it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. You, you know, everyone already assumes he's better than me. So now this time going in, I'm just laying, I'm laying it all out on the table. And I'm going to, I'm going in there for the finish. And I think that I could see that difference in mentality. His, his energy throughout the, you know, the few times I saw him that week was just, yeah, it's exactly how I would be. It's like calm, but I can feel the power brewing inside of him. So yeah, yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. So the fight happens, then the after party goes down and there's my <laughs> guy, MVP, that got the clip of the entire <laughs> after party. You got Izzy and you got Kamaru Usman and yourself just shacking out, having a good time yeah. in, in yeah. a Miami club. The, yeah. the, 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 the smartphone just pans to the yeah. left and then there's legends, Chuck Liddell legends. and Tito Ortiz. Legends. I mean, legends. what legends. a scene that was, man. Man, it was unbelievable, man. I have to say, like, like... like it just right for me. It rounded up the holiday. It was my birthday, like a few days before that as well. So I was like, it was a great way to kind of finish. The, and that was that was literally going to be my last night in Miami. Uh, so I only basically extended my my stay just to make sure I was there for the fight. Um, and yeah, even there was one point, you know, I've, I've gone the, uh, the security guards that pulled me. I think one of them asked me to jump on stage as well. So I've I've, I've gone on stage, we're all dancing, having fun. 
And somebody in the crowd was like, oh, I'm MVP, MVP. Like, uh, so he calls me over. I walk over and he's, he whispers something and then goes, look, he's standing next to me. And I was like, what? And I look, I look, I look to my right and Chuck Liddell's sitting there. I was like, this guy for me, yeah, because he was the first person I ever watched in MMA. Like, I didn't even, I was the typical fan, like, the, you know, those classic fans that don't care for the grappling and stuff because I didn't understand it. So when I saw him, I was like, what? I, st- I was like, I pulled him like, come on stage, come on stage. And he's he's like, no, no, no. I was like, there's no way I would, let, I would, I would fight you now <laughs> just to get you on the stage. And I pulled him up on stage and like, it was just, a, a crazy moment that I, I had already seen Tito earlier in the night. So me and him was talking. Um, and then obviously when Tito saw Chuck on stage, he just, he just slowly p- walks through the crowd, but it was just a great moment. And he's up on the stage. I was like, there's no way I'm not filming this moment. I don't care. It has to be on my phone. And even the shot, I had a shot with, um, there's like the, the four of us, um, me, Izzy, um, uh, Usman. And then there's, a, there's another guy who's a, uh, who's a Afro beats, but I didn't know at the time. But I was like, yo, guys, let's let's get this picture. So it was all, again, no, that, that shot came on my phone because I was like, I, there's this moments that I like to, I'm very present as well, but very rarely do I pull myself out to just take pictures and, and I always miss opportunities. And tonight I was just, I was just, I was just on it, man. <laughs> nah, you don't give yourself enough credit. You always get the best moments. Even <laughs> um, when you talked about how you and Izzy met in London, I remember mm-hmm. there was a clip both of you on a rickshaw in central London. And, <laughs> yeah. I'll, and when I saw that video clip, I was like, yep, I know exactly what that feels like. Cause I've been two, yeah. three in the morning coming out of a club, <laughs> jumping into a rickshaw with my boys. So I knew that scene so well. It was a yeah, beautiful yeah, moment. Yeah, it was sick. And Izzy literally just stole it. He's like, yeah, we'll be back. And we just flew down the road. <laughs> now, yeah, it was, it was seriously, it's moments like that I, I live for in this, in this game. And, you know, get to meet meeting like-minded people, meeting legends. Uh, in our sport uh, and around our sport, though, because there's there's American football stars there, mm. you know, there was there's musicians there. It was, it was just an an epic moment, and to to see it for someone that I've like you know now got a lot of love for and respect yeah. for, and to see him in his element, I was like, yeah, man, like I, I was so happy for him and to to, to indulge it all, but also enjoy it myself do you know what i mean absolutely man absolutely i know you're so loyal to to london shoot he's very loyal to ckb but i just feel like you got iron sharpens iron right so do definitely, you think definitely. there could we've be spoken. a possibility about training together a little bit yeah we've spoken about this already um and even from when we first first met it's just a case of you know when t- you know the, the time has to be right because the, the both times um i think he had no he just finished a fight and he wasn't going to be in london too long uh, and then obviously this time I'm not going to do any training with him while he's in the build up to his fight. So, yeah, you know, I've, I've even spoken about going down to you know, New Zealand and uh, trying to get some work with the guys, you know, I was chatting to the coaches and stuff. Um, we had some good like uh, combat talks as well. Like I like sometimes just picking people's brain, but then also sharing knowledge like that I have as well. And he, he, one of the coaches like, yeah, he, he knows what he's talking about. He looked like it, it was good good some good some good conversation so yeah definitely i'd like to link up with them at some point or if they're over here we'll link up and get some training together definitely thanks for watching this episode of smack talk with sandu and hey do me a favor hit the like button drop a comment give me some feedback let me know what you think share the video with your friends help me blow this whole thing up and hey if you really enjoyed it subscribe to the channel for more conversations more interviews and more amazing video content coming soon